Hi, in this lesson we will attempt to understand what the average visitors look for when they arrive to your website. To know this, let us look at the types of search queries. A lion's share of search queries belongs to what is termed as navigational type. This is 80% of all searches on the web. These are usually one word terms or names of famous websites. I give the example of Panama for this type of queries. Most of the heavily used top search terms are navigation type. We will see more examples shortly. The balance 20% of the searches is shared equally between information and action types. To take the example of Panama, the information search term will be Panama Holidays while the action type will be by Panama Holidays. Notice the differences. When a visitor types in Panama, she is not sure what to expect from the results. However, if she types in Panama Holidays, she is narrowing down her search. At this stage, she can be said to be interested in buying Panama Holidays, but perhaps she just wants to gather information. Finally, when she types in buy Panama holidays, her intention is absolutely clear. Some experts call this type of searches as wallet out keywords. This means the searcher is on the verge of making a transaction. Let me show you the top 16 most popular keywords in the last one year at the time of preparing this data. In fact, most of the top 500 to 1000 keywords are like the ones that you see here. All these are navigational types. It is pretty obvious therefore that your website has to account for the 20% of the searches that are informational and transactional in nature. If you are selling a product or service in your website, then the three main pages to guide your visitors will be the home page, the product page or pages and the blog or content pages. The home page will show the main objective of your website. The product pages must be specific about the items you are selling with clear calls to action. The blog is the reservoir where you build up contents relevant to your products and the purpose here is threefold. To inform educate and engage the visitors who come directly to these pages. For most small websites, there is no clear focus or segregation of the various pages. And as a result, the visitors do not get a clear idea about what to expect in the website. Let me quickly show you the home pages of three famous websites. Just watch how simple they are and consequently how easy it is for you and me to know what they are offering. The first one is that of Gmail. The main features are briefly spelt out on the left, while on the right there are clear calls to action. Same is the case with Facebook, where the product feature is nicely explained in just 12 words and a picture. For Twitter too, the pattern of the home page is the same as Facebook and Gmail. So the question is, if the giants do it, why can't your website do the same? Before ending this session, let us look at some salient points to remember. Most visitors are new. Visitors coming from search results can come to any page. Visitors make their opinion in less than 10 seconds. The main feature of your web page must be above the fold. Only 20% of all web searches really matter. Well, this session will end now. Up next, we will journey to the concept of website structuring. Thanks for watching.